Hello there. In this video, we're going to show a quick demonstration of utilizing the Intelligent Edge hands-on lab to detect objects using YOLO with Darknet with the mixed reality capture on a Microsoft HoloLens. So if you're not familiar with this project, the Intelligent Edge hands-on lab allows you to walk through the process of deploying an IoT Edge module that can communicate telemetry back to Microsoft Azure utilizing the off-the-shelf small form factor family of NVIDIA Jetson devices to allow you to perform object detection on a variety of different input sources. And these include things like YouTube videos, RTSP streams, an attached webcam, and as you're going to see in this video, the mixed reality capture available on Microsoft's HoloLens. So we recently added support for this feature, and it's mentioned very, very shortly in the following section under configuring the YOLO module video source. And I'm going to utilize this time to show you exactly how you can connect this up to your device if you happen to have a HoloLens on hand. So we point you to this article over here that shows you how to enable streaming the HoloLens video to your web browser. And this is pretty straightforward. You'll only need to have the IP address of your HoloLens. And once you have that, you can visit it in your web browser. And then you'll head on over to the system section, come down here to preferences. And then under device security, you can click this credentials reset and set request pin. And this will allow you to set up a username and password combination that will allow you to specify a special URL that can access the mixed reality capture stream. So to get access to that video stream, once you've gone ahead and created those credentials, you'll go ahead and copy this URL and replace in the username section with the newly created username, the password with your newly created password and the IP of your HoloLens device. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and test it out in your browser by pasting that in. And as you can see here, I've supplied the username NVIDIA and the password NVIDIA123, as well as the IP address of the device on my local network. And you can see here that it is working. I'm able to stream the mixed reality capture over to my machine through the web browser. And now that we have that, I've already deployed the full on Intelligent Edge hands-on lab solution to a Jetson Xavier device. Now what we're going to do is open up Visual Studio Code, and what I'm going to do here is go to the Azure IoT Hub section, select the YOLO module, and we're going to go ahead and select Edit Module Twin. And now that I've done that, I can go ahead and scroll through here, and you'll see where we've set up the video source. And this is currently using dev slash video zero, and that corresponds to a USB attached camera. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in that special URL with my credentials applied. And we're going to go ahead and update the module twin. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is jump onto an SSH session with my Jetson Xavier device that is in a completely different room. And what we're going to go ahead and do is restart the YOLO module. And once that comes back and we've got the module restarted on the device, I'm going to, for the purposes of demonstrating, just go ahead and print out the logs for the YOLO module. And so you'll see here it's starting up. And it looks like it is about to try attaching to the HoloLens video stream. And there we go. So this actually serves back the results on a web server from the device. So um, that is currently named Jetson Xavier 00 as a host name on my network. So I'll go ahead and relaunch this. And now that I've done that, you can see I've got YOLO detection occurring in the HoloLens mixed reality stream. And it's doing a pretty good job here. You see it notices that I've got quite a variety of oranges inside of a bowl on top of my table. Um, you can see these bottles in the background, potted plant. In fact, if I look down over here, um, it notices my dog has taken a little nap here. And also, uh, I'm sure if I walk over to here, you can see my cat laying down. Um, but it doesn't just work on living things and objects. It can also work on holographic objects. For example, these three lines that are in the living room. And so you can see here, it's very easy to get started with this if you have a HoloLens device and you want to go ahead and start doing object detection utilizing a Jetson device with your HoloLens. It's now very easy to go ahead and set that up. So please let me know if you try this out. I'd love to see what kind of things you can do with this technology.